Is another divorce on the horizon for Cody Brown? For a very good, understandable, and simply tragic reason, the reality star is going through it at the moment. In early March, the sister wives patriarch lost son Garrison to a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The reality star, who was only 26 years old at the time, had been estranged from his famous father for about two years ever since Cody laid down some very strict guidelines amid the COVID-19 pandemic, forbidding anyone in his family from interacting with anyone outside the family. From what we've been able to gather, Cody and Garrison were not speaking at the time the latter committed suicide, and the guilt may be affecting other relationships in his life. The Sister Wives star has said nothing on his own in the wake of Garrison's passing, Although a previous report alleged he made things awkward at Garrison's funeral, Cody is not okay at all. He's retreated entirely, a source recently told The Sun, adding of Cody's mental state these days. He gets into dark places when he gets upset, so he's just in a very dark place right now. We can't verify this report and we don't know exactly what dark places refers to or means, but one can't blame Cody for falling into such a funk Ken On, long before Garrison took his own life, Cody had said he was struggling. In that case, because spouses Christine, Mary, and Janelle had all left him at various points in the recent past. In November 2021, Christine finally built up the courage to leave Cody. Then in December 2022, Janelle confirmed that she and Cody had separated as well. Finally, in January 2023, Mary confirmed her split from Cody after 32 years of marriage, either as spiritual husband and wife or legal husband and wife. This leaves Cody in a legal marriage with Robin Brown, but the son also hints at trouble on this romantic horizon. Amid Cody's depression, a word used by the aforementioned insider, the TLC personality is causing problems in his marriage to Robin. His mental state is affecting his marriage and it's actually causing problems in his relationship, the source explained. He sort of put up this wall and is internalizing his feelings. He's focused more on himself and moving on. For her part, Robin hasn't said anything about Garrison's death. She admitted last year that she was in a different state of mourning due to the end of her plural family. Cody and I, we're getting through this and figuring this out but it does feel like there was a death. Robin told People Magazine in December of her three sister wives all walking away. We're both going through a death separately. Now, of course, they are going through an actual death. Will it result in the dissolution of this union? I don't think they will ever divorce unless he continues what he is doing and pushes her out. The Sun source concluded a few days ago. Cody just retreats and when he gets upset, he blames her for his problems. So right now he's doing that with her. Back on March 5, Cody uttered his only words about Garrison, joining Janelle to say the following. Cody and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy, Robert Garrison Brown. He was a bright spot in the lives of all who knew him, they wrote back then. His loss will leave such a big hole in our lives that it takes our breath away. We ask that you please respect our privacy and join us in honoring his memory. Do I stand alone in my doubts about the intelligence of Sister Wives star Robin Brown? I keep encountering comments and theories suggesting she devised a master plan to dominate the family and secure Cody Brown for herself, and somehow succeeded. Frankly, I find it hard to believe that Robin, whom I perceive as lacking in intellect, entered with such a complex scheme to disrupt everything. My impression is she thought she hit the jackpot joining an established plural family believing she have all the assistance she needed while being with Cody Brown, whom she likely viewed as the family's king with three wives and numerous teenagers. She, a newly divorced Mormon with three children, likely felt she wouldn't find better, especially facing the necessity to work and reside in a modest duplex apartment I reckon she came in expecting not to have to work every day enjoying constant babysitting over time she seemingly manipulated situations to do less while receiving more eventually her actions led to a collapse because she slowly poisoned the well she seemed to aspire to be the favored wife assuming they'd all stick around 
But the notion that Robin Brown is highly cunning while struggling with basic spelling like Wyoming seems almost absurd to me in my view. She's deeply insecure and manipulative seeking to alleviate immediate feelings of insecurity. Without considering long-term consequences, she lacks foresight and hindsight living solely in the present, demanding her needs be met akin to a toddler. She doesn't take accountability for her actions, unable to see the connections between cause and effect. Robin Brown may be unintelligent unquestionably, so she monopolized Cody Brown's time and resources despite knowing he had other wives and children to support and care for she's not cunning, she's selfish, and refuses to acknowledge it. There's a distinction between being manipulative and intelligent. Robin Brown's excessive manipulation has led to her downfall, but it's not due to brilliance she's destroyed her income, and the family she purportedly desired moreover Cody Brown himself isn't exactly sharp he's easily influenced, which adds to the complexity of the situation. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel once again Bombshell Gossip, it's me Alina here, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, so let's dive into today's video, however sister Wiv star Robin Brown may not fully grasp the situation before Robin Brown's arrival Cody Brown was genuinely involved to the best of his ability, the original three wives and Cody Brown had a somewhat traditional yet unconventional setup, he held the role of the priesthood holder but the the Og3 had more freedom to be authentic compared to other women in their community. Their shared faith and belief in the lifestyle were the glue binding them along with traditions, community, and common goals. Then Robin Brown entered the picture raised to unquestioningly pleased. She disrupted the family's dynamics. Once Cody Brown experienced a taste of being in control, the lifestyle they had built with the Og3 became less appealing. I don't see Robin Brown as malicious. She likely tried her best to be a good wife but inadvertently unravel what made the family function her surprise and distress seem genuine because they are additionally she may struggle with a severe personality disorder and codependency, which complements Cody Brown's narcissism and emerging megalomania contrary to the notion of glue and glee before Robin Brown, the reality was different. Mary Brown expressed thoughts of leaving Janelle Brown, left at least twice, and Christine Brown felt like the basement wife Mary Brown faced rejection and branding as toxic and selfish for years. They dealt with financial struggles and lacked adequate healthcare. Depression affected all wives even before Robin Brown's arrival as detailed in their book, which despite trying to paint a rosy picture hints at underlying issues. Furthermore, the image of the original three wives living with Cody Brown in a cramped trailer at the start of their marriages is striking raised in a conservative patriarchal purity culture. It's hard to imagine the trauma they endured especially considering the pedestal placed upon husbands in such environments, even if all parties consented to plural marriage the idealization of post-marital sex. Coupled with the pedestalized for them, these perspectives stem from my understanding of growing up in a deeply religious and conservative environment where marital dynamics and expectations are idealized often overlooking the complexities and challenges individuals face. Additionally, the extent of therapy sessions undergone by Sister Wives star Christine Brown is not publicly disclosed when Christine Brown gathers everyone on the back porch to deliver the news I can't help but marvel at her composure, grace, and clear boundaries. It makes me think about the amount of therapy she must have had prior to this moment despite the criticism she receives for her post-separation excitement. I see this entire storyline as a testament to the power of therapy in my opinion. I recall some observant viewers noting the self-help and therapy books on the shelves behind Christine Brown and Cody Brown during their discussions about custody arrangements for truly and Christine Brown's decision to move away, it's evident that she's put in a lot of work on herself. And I don't blame her for feeling joyful, even a bit snarky about her newfound freedom from him. On another note, when I watched that scene, therapy didn't immediately come to mind to me. It seemed like someone who had been mentally taking boxes for a long time eventually. The boxes are all checked and you see things clearly for what they are. There's a profound sense of peace that comes with realizing you no longer have to struggle with questions like why or how can I fix this? It's a wonderful feeling of relief. 
I also sense that peace emanating from Christine Brown's realization that Cody Brown can't hurt her in the same way anymore whether she arrived at this realization organically or with the assistance of therapy it doesn't diminish its significance however it was also apparent that Cody Brown picked up on this shift and it unsettled him recently someone shared a clip of Cody Brown looking wide a after his outburst possibly during the same scene while some interred it as him realizing he had overreacted I saw it as a sudden realization that he was no longer in control of Christine Brown. A loss of a tool for him to exert control. Do you see the distinction? Moreover, sister wives star Janelle Brown's son Leon Brown and Gade Brown are practically twins by now. While this observation isn't new, it's particularly evident in Janelle Brown's latest Instagram post, where the resemblance between between Gabe and Leon is striking. It's almost as if some of the siblings blend into each other over time. When I first saw the photo, I genuinely mistook Gaby for Leon, until I realized that was the image intended for Leon. It's confusing especially for someone like me who doesn't follow them on social media to see how much Gabe has changed since the last time I saw him. However, I believe the main similarity between them lie in their hair. Leon bears a striking resemblance to Mary Brown, especially if you watch the episode where they move into their dorm with Mary Brown present. There's a scene where they're walking together and the resemblance is uncanny. On the other hand, Gaby seems to take after Janelle Brown and Cody Brown in appearance, albeit with some differences. On the other hand, it seems like Janelle Brown has reached a definitive point with Sister Wiv star Cody Brown, according to a recent tabloid report possibly sourced through Mike Kelty, known for her unwavering focus on her children and pets. Janelle Brown is reportedly pledging to prioritize her kids amidst the challenges she's faced since separating from Cody Brown. Brown in December 2022, a close source indicates that she's determined to steer clear of any further drama and to center her life around her children's well-being. It suggests Ed that Cody Brown has built a wall around himself internalizing his emotions and focusing more on his own path forward reports indicate he's in a particularly dark place and struggling with depression, which became evident in his standoffish behavior. At Garrison's memorial, allegedly Robin Brown had to encourage him to sit closer to Janelle Brown during the service. This speculation combined with Mel's possible involvement hints at ongoing family dynamics and discussions that may unfold in public arenas. Janelle Brown's stance isn't entirely surprising to keen observers as she's hinted at her detachment from Cody Brown for years. Her interview with PE Magazine where she refrained from calling Cody Brown her ex-husband speaks volumes about the state of their relationship. It's clear that she's moved beyond their partnership and is focused on her own path reflecting on their relocation from Vegas to Flagstaff. One wonders if Janelle Brown has any regrets about acquiescing to Cody Brown's demands while Flagstaff offers its charms. One can't help but speculate whether she would have chosen a different path if given the chance Janelle Brown embodies qualities of a devoted wife-loving mother and dedicated professional, yet it seems Cody Brown failed to recognize and appreciate her worth. The lack of closeness between them at Garrison's memorial underscores the extent of their disconnection. If they can't even sit together to mourn their shared loss, it's evident that their relationship has reached a point of no return. However, the only scenario where Sister Wives star Robin Brown might comprehend the toll of her actions on the Brown Sister Wives is if she were to introduce a younger sister wife with children into her and Cody Brown's relationship ship now it would force her to confront the feelings of displacement she caused. Imagine if this new wife monopolized Cody Brown's time, went on extended honeymoons, and bore him children while Robin Brown couldn't only then might she grasp the pain she inflicted. However, it's doubtful Robin Brown would ever develop empathy for the other wives. Her focus remains solely on her own pain and that of her children incapable of feeling others suffering. Robin Brown's actions were deliberate. She consciously pursued her interests without regard for the well-being of the other wives or their children. The notion of introducing a new wife would likely never cross her mind, 
as she likely assumed the other wives would silently endure their suffering as dictated by their religion. Her miscalculation lies in underestimating the extent of their discontent in her perspective. That's her sole misstep. Additionally, the recent announcement from the Justice Department regarding new regulations for commercial firearm sales is likely to impact Cody Brown's business, particularly his activities at gun shows. Although Cody Brown is reportedly selling firearm parts like barrels, trigger assemblies, and stocks, rather than complete guns, it's worth noting that certain gun sale laws, such as background checks, may not apply to these parts the ATF primarily concerns itself with parts like receivers, which bear serial numbers and require meticulous tracking from manufacturer to final sale. Nevertheless, Cody Brown's business will inevitably be influenced by the broader societal dialogue surrounding firearms and their potential consequences. The familiar refrain guns don't kill people, people kill people now carries added weight in light of recent events prompting a reconsideration of the role firearms play in our society. Moreover, I'm currently watching the episode of Sister Wives where Christine Brown announces her decision to split from Cody Brown and leave and it's incredibly frustrating to see how the other sister wives react. They seem oblivious to Christine Brown's unhappiness and the mistreatment she endured from Cody Brown. Why do they believe she needed their permission to leave Christine Brown as a grown woman entitled to make her own choices? The family dynamics drive me crazy and Robin Brown's tears. What's there to cry about when she's treated like royalty? It's infuriating. It's reminiscent of when any member of an ensemble cast or band decides to depart. Everyone's concerned about how it'll affect their job. Cody Brown and Robin Brown might have been worried about the show, while Mary Brown's reaction could stem from her own past attempt to leave and the subsequent guilt and manipulation that kept her there witnessing Christine Brown's strength to leave likely stirred up a range of emotions for everyone Robin Brown perhaps failed to grasp that Christine Brown wasn't embracing the concept of sacred loneliness. Fortunately, Janelle Brown understood and supported Christine Brown while Mary Brown's reaction may have been indifferent considering she had endured rejection from Cody Brown herself on the other hand. I finally started watching season 18 of Sister Wives and man Cody Brown is something else the way he talks to people especially the women and his sons is just appalling it's a wonder how he manages to maintain any relationships at all his behavior is despicable and I can't help but feel that these women are saints for putting up with him even after their divorces his arrogance is astounding as if he's entitled to unleash his rage and bitterness on anyone he encounters it's like he's never faced rejection or not getting his way in his entire life what's worse is his complete lack of emotional self-regulation displaying immaturity at every turn throughout season 18 he embodies all the negative traits he once criticized mary brown and christine brown for behaving like the worst aspects of all four wives combined the episode where christine brown asks for extra grocery money by allowing the wrestling mat in the garage speaks volumes despite earning money from the show like everyone else she still has to beg him for money to feed their kids and he acts as though he's doing her a favor by granting her additional funds to feed his own children it's a stark reminder of the control he had over the finances keeping all the tlc money for himself and distributing it as he saw fit it's it's heartbreaking to see someone under such control however if they had never left las vegas one can speculate about how different things might have been for the brown family it's conceivable that they would have remained together with the mary brown catfishing incident still occurring regardless however many other conflicts might not have arisen in vegas it seemed like christine brown and robin brown were developing a positive relationship and had found a comfortable setup they weren't burdened with the stresses of rentals financial strains or the complexities of purchasing multiple homes the decision to buy land in flagstaff appears to have been a pivotal mistake even cody brown seemed apprehensive after accepting the offer robin brown's influence and pressure on cody brown 
To make that move ultimately led to a downward spiral had they stayed in Vegas, it's likely they would have avoided much of the drama and tension that ensued staying in Vegas might have also prevented Janelle Brown and Mary Brown from losing their share of the finances when the divorces eventually happened while it might have taken longer for the divorces to unfold Janelle Brown and Mary Brown wouldn't have faced the financial losses they experienced from investing in the Arizona property Christine Brown fortunately managed to retain full ownership of her Arizona home securing her financial position in retro Respect Christine Brown's departure from Cody Brown possibly injected new life into the show which seemed stagnant and directionless her departure shed light on the isolation and fear that some of the wives experienced especially under Robin Brown's influence who seemed intent on keeping her children under her control overall staying in Las Vegas could have offered stability and prevented some of the, the financial and emotional turmoil they faced in Flagstaff. Additionally, I stumbled upon a comment about my Kelty Brown supposedly serving as Sister Wives star Robin Brown's nanny during her courtship period and later found a video where Mike Kelty mentioned being Robin Brown's nanny while living in Street George. It's surprising if true, especially considering the lack of reference to it in the early seasons. It makes me wonder if Christine Brown allowed it and if this is what she alludes to when expressing regrets about standing up for her kids more, it's curious to know. If Robin Brown has ever independently cared for Cody Brown's children, the more I learn about her, the more entitled and lazy she appears in Mormon culture. It's not uncommon to send a child to stay elsewhere when they're being difficult or when a parent is overwhelmed my own experiences. And those of my friends reflect this with kids of often staying with grandparents or other relatives during such times. So when staying with Mary Brown or my Kelty spending time at Robin Brown's, may not have seemed unusual to them, however, it's intriguing to consider how local culture might shape these perceptions. Both Christine Brown and Melty have spoken about the challenges in their relationship, highlighting how Robin Brown was the first adult to understand and be kind to Mike Kelty. This dynamic suggests that Melty may have always felt like the black sheep among not only the kids, but also the adult Robin Brown's pension for stirring up drama within the family seems apparent perhaps explaining her desire to belong to a plural family with 18 kids and 5 adults. There are endless opportunities for her to sow resentments, foster paranoia, and emerge as the Victor Melty recently mentioned that the mom didn't really raise each other's kids even in lay suggesting that Logan took care of Janelle Brown's kids. However, this narrative seems to downplay Christine Brown's role. It's questionable why Mike Kelty would seek to minimize Christine Brown's contributions. Moreover, haha, <laughs> okay, that sister Wiv star Mary Brown and Cody Brown breakup scene was something else, but in the end, it felt more like Mary Brown breaking up with Robin Brown. Didn't it? I couldn't help but laugh at the absurdity of it all, even though it's kind of sad. It almost felt like watching two parents explain to their child why mommy and daddy are getting a divorce. Robin Brown often seems lost and confused, especially when it serves her. And seriously, the fact that Robin Brown was the one needing comfort was just ridiculous. If she truly cared about Mary Brown, she would have stood up for her and ensured she got an equal share of Koya Pass instead. We got nothing but silence from Robin Brown, yet we're supposed to believe that Robin Brown is deeply traumatized by Mary Brown leaving give me a break Robin Brown. Drop your thoughts in the comments below do you agree or disagree don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates your opinions matter and I'll see you in the next Bitey Consequences.